Welcome to the series of everything you need to know about Python in simplest possible way. In our previous videos, we have seen so many important concepts and so many important methods regarding dictionary, right? So in this video, we will see how we can use dictionary comprehension in order to create the dictionaries dynamically. So before directly going to this particular dictionary comprehension, first we will understand how we are creating the dictionaries and by using this dictionary comprehension, we can use this dictionary comprehension in order to overcome the regular process of what we are doing in order to create the dictionaries. So I hope this has some sense to you. So in order to make you understand more clearly, what I will be doing is that I will explain all of this dictionary comprehension in three examples. Watch the video till the end so that you can able to understand clearly how we can use the real dictionary comprehensions to overcome some of the process. So let us go ahead and see that. So first I will do the similar regular process how we are creating the dictionaries so let's say i wanted to generate a dictionary with the keys of let's say the range from 1 to 10 and the values that i want is the square of that range so let's say i have the key 2 the value i need to have is 4 let's say if i have the key 4 i need to have the value 16 which is the square right so like that i need to have the key value pairs in the dictionary so let us go ahead and see how we are doing that in the regular process so for that what we will be regularly doing is that first we will create the empty dictionary right so for that i will take let's say d1 here so range dictionary so i am taking range dict here so in this range dict i am considering an empty dictionary here so after that we will be adding the elements to this particular range dictionary so later what i will be doing is that in order to generate the range of values i will use a for loop for let's say element in range so we need to generate the range of values from 1 to 10 right so that is the reason i am using 11 here it will be stopped at the value 10 itself so in this what i will be doing is that we need to add the elements to this to this range right to this range dictionary so for that what i will be doing is that i will use this range dict here range dict so after that what I will be doing is that we need to use this particular indexing or add methods to add the elements, add the key value pairs to this dictionary, right? So I am using this index operation to add the key value pairs for this dictionary uh, range dict. So here, what I will be doing is that I will mention element here. So this element will be getting the range of values from 1 to 10, right? So that is what I am mentioning here so that we will be getting all of the values from 1 to 10. So here what I will be doing is that I will take the same element and I will square it by using this exponential operator we can have the squared elements right so that is what I am doing here so that is it so if I print the range dict here so if I execute this so there is something wrong so if I execute this you can able to see we are getting the range of values from 1 to 10 as keys so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 right so the values that we are getting are 1 4 9 16 25 36 like that we are getting the key value pairs keys are range of values from 1 to 10 and the values are its squared elements so it's squared values so if we have 2 we are getting the value which is 4 so if we have 5 we are getting the value which is 25 like that we are having all of these things so if you carefully consider in this example though the code is smaller but we are doing the same process multiple times again and again so first we are creating an empty dictionary so after that we are continuously adding the elements to this dictionary by using this for loop right so what if i told you we can simplify this process using dictionary comprehension and add the elements dynamically and create the dictionary itself with the values so let us go ahead and see how we can do that so to do that what i will be doing is that i will take this particular dictionary so in this dictionary itself this is usually represented this is usually considered as dictionary right in the curly braces we will be considering the dictionary so in this curly braces itself i will be doing all the necessary process in order to create the dictionary so here we are using for loop to generate the range of values and doing all of the process right so i will do that in the 
curly braces itself in the dictionary itself so for element in range so we need to get the element range of values from 1 to 11 right so after that what we are doing we are generating the key the key is nothing but this element that is what i will be mentioning here element and the value that we want which is nothing but square of this particular element right so i am taking this element and i am squaring it using exponential operator here so now if i execute this so before executing this i will assign this to some variable let's say uh, dict comprehension here so i am using this dict comprehension so if i print this dict comprehension here so if i execute this still you can able to see the same result that we that what we have previously but we are doing all of this process in the dictionary itself so we are getting the range of values from 1 to 10 and we are also getting the values for these keys which are squared elements of these values right so i hope you can able to understand how we can overcome this particular whole process by simply doing all of the necessary process in the dictionary itself and get the result so we are simply using this for loop to generate the range of values and we are mentioning the key and we are mentioning the value that's it so by simply mentioning this we can able to create the dictionary dynamically using list comprehension i hope this example may Make you understand the ex the introduction about dictionary comprehension let us go ahead and discuss two more example with that i am very sure that you can able to understand the dictionary comprehensions very clearly and you can use whenever you need it so let us go ahead and see one more example that we have so let's say i wanted to create the dictionary with two lists so i have two lists so based on two, two list i need to create one list i will be using for keys and another list i will be using for values so by using this regular process we still need to do all of this process so by using dictionary comprehension we were over, we will not use all of this process we will simply use this kind of a process to make that so to make you understand clearly i will take list one here instead of list one i will take key l here so key l considered as a key list so in this key list i will be considering let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 here so after that i will consider value l here so this value l will have the values of this particular keys let's say i will consider 100 200 300 400 500 600 700 800 so don't worry about the example to make you understand simply i am taking this particular example so we can generate this key value pairs in the dictionary itself so understand uh, this consider this as a different keys list and this is a different values list so how we can generate the key value pairs in the dictionary using these two lists so let us go ahead and do that so for that i am taking this particular dictionary so in this dictionary only we will be doing all of the processes so in order to do that i will use a for loop in order to iterate through this list right we have two lists so in order to iterate that and in order to get that i will be using for loop so we need to get the key from the key list and we need to get the value from the value list so we need two variables right that is what i will be using so i will mention k here k is considered as key and v is here v is considered as value here so after that we need to get these two lists right so for that reason we have a specific method which is nothing but zip here so by using this zip we can able to fetch the elements from the key list and the value list and we can have the independent elements in k and v so for that reason only we are using this zip if you don't know about zip watch my previous video about zip you can able to understand more clearly so i am mentioning key l here so we will be getting the elements from key list and value l here so we will be getting the elements from the value list also so now we are able to get this particular key and value right so we just need to arrange them so that that will be fine so i am mentioning key and value here so by using this a colon we will be separating the key values right so that's it we are done with the creation of dictionary so i will mention dict uh, let's say dict l here so after that if i print this dict l and if i execute this we are getting some error so in i need to use the in operator so that is a mandatory right so i have forgotten so i am using in here and if i execute this 
we can able to see we are getting the dictionary with all the key value pairs here so what i will be doing is that so i will take this so now you can able to see right so we are able to get the key value pairs from keys from this particular key list and values from this value list so keys 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 values 100 200 like this we are getting all the keys values and arranging properly in the dictionary itself we are doing all of this process in this dictionary itself so if you wanted to do this by using these four loops it takes so much of iterations it takes so much of process of adding the elements from the to the dictionary so by using this dictionary comprehension we can dynamically create the dictionary so i hope you have understood the importance of this dictionary comprehension i hope you have understood how you can use it so let us go ahead and see one more example and understand how we can use this dictionary comprehensions effectively let's say i will take this same dictionary here so what i will be using what i will be doing with this dictionary is that i am taking this dictionary right so i will mention dictionary l here so all dict here so i am taking all dict so in this all dict i am having these key value pairs so 100 200 like that i am having key value pairs right i am executing this so this is got executed so in this dictionary i am having all the even keys and odd keys so now what i wanted to do is that i need to create a new dictionary with only even values so how i can do that so by using list comprehension let us go ahead and see how we can do and how we can get a new dictionary from the existing dictionary by a specific constraints so for that in order to create the dictionary i will be using this dictionary so in this I need to get the key value pairs from this dictionary, right? So for that, I am using a for loop for key comma value in. So I need to generate the, I need to get the key value pairs from this dictionary. So for that, what I will be using the, is that all dict here. So by using this items method, we can able to get the key value pairs, right? So that we have discussed in the previous video. So by using this items, we can get the key value pairs from the dictionary. So we are getting the key value pairs and we are assigning those key values in this dictionary on each iteration. So now what I will be doing is that I will mention a condition here. So if key is uh, divided by uh, modulo is by 2 and equal to equal to 0 which means what I am mentioning the condition is that if the key must be even number so if the key is must be even number then only I am constructing this dictionary so by using this operation we can know the key is even or not so this only allows the even values so now what I will be doing is that I am mentioning key here so after that I will be mentioning value here so I will mention value here so that's it so the dictionary will be created so what i will be doing is that even dict here so even dict is equal to so after that if i print this even dict here and if i execute this we can able to see a new dictionary is got created with the keys only of even values so here you can able to see so previously we have this whole dictionary from this whole dictionary we are creating a new dictionary only with the key value pairs which are of even so that's it like this we can able to create the any kind of a dictionary based on our interest so i hope you can able to understand by this explanation how we, we can use this dictionary a comprehension to uh, make some really good work to generate the dictionary dynamically by creating the values in it itself so i hope you have understood all the examples i have explained so that's it for this video so in the next video we will see one more important concepts about dictionary which is nothing but nested dictionaries so how are we going to handle that nested dictionaries that we will see in our next video to stay updated with my latest videos subscribe to this channel and turn on the notifications to all so that whenever i upload any video you will get the notification so thank you for watching this video see you in the next one